It's in, yes! Oh, it's a big old fish, big old fish! Oh my days, mate! If there's one thing that makes fishing good, it's a drop or two of rain. But for months now, it's been dry. Too dry. One of the driest years on record, in fact. East Anglia and southeastern Britain, it's been one of the driest springs ever. With people reporting on the drought all over the country. For prolonged dry conditions. So when this finally happens, there's only one thing to do. With the smallest spike in the river levels, comes good fishing. So Dom went on a reconnaissance mission, which provided fruitful. So it was time to load the car and get back in. Right then guys, so today we're heading down to the River Derwent to do a little bit of barbel fishing. So yeah, we thought we'd come back down here while it is still in like prime condition to be doing some fishing. And hopefully we're gonna catch some fish. This place is an absolutely great place to come. I can't believe that I haven't fished it more in the past, you know what I mean? Literally, Dominic came down here, found some great pegs. And then we found some more great pegs. The peg we're going into today, we found um, the last time we was here and it is literally the most dreamy float fishing peg you've ever seen in your life. It's just an absolute peach of a peg. But yeah, you'll see it when we get down here anyway. So yeah guys, if you're new around here, my name's Adam. We go fishing all the time. We upload all the time as well. So why not consider going down below and hitting that subscribe button. While you're there, hit that little notification button and you'll know every time we're going on adventures like these because it's going to be a lot over the next few months. We've got some massive videos coming over the next few months. It's going to be absolutely great guys. So yeah, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. So yeah man, let's get down there and do some bagging. Let's go. We arrived at our location only to find someone in the peg so it would seem that there's somebody in our peg absolute nightmare so we've got to go find another peg not what we want so we went on our way to find another peg here we are yeah i think we're gonna fish this peg here definitely luckily enough just down river we found some prime pegs Perla. Oh, this peg's quite fast sort of thing, quite shallow-ish. I feel like some barbel might just be hanging about around here, some chub, things like that. We wasted no time in getting set up and getting fishing. I started off on the float. Float fishing for about an hour and this river is littered, and I mean littered with like minnows and stuff. You can't send anything down the river without it being tattered to death. But after getting hammered by Barlow Minis, we switched to the bomb. And not long after, we was into our first fish. As I was casting the other one, that's crazy. Boom. Straight back, it's only a babby. We got straight back to it and had another chub instantly. Another best old chub. Best old chub. Probably gonna get last fish up there. Biggest, best old chub, aren't they? Look at it man, it's got some power, look at it. Probably best chub we've had for a while, best chub I've ever had out at Derwent anyway. Well, uh, like I said, 
probably the last fish of the day around a couple of pounds maybe but yeah absolutely beautiful fish turned out to be a great venue don't know why i haven't been here more beautiful fish let's slip it back look at that it wants to go already gone beautiful great day man see only for it we've only been down here a couple of hours we've had some great fish we chanced it and had one last cast and two minutes later the rod screamed off it's a barbel this has to be a barbel swimming up river barbel Must be a small one. It's a barbel. Good old fish. Straight in. Oh, aye. It's got some power. It's a little babby barbel. Could it go? Second fish that's took those spice sausages. Can't go wrong. Little babby barbel. Look at that. Plenty of fish kicking about. Don't believe it. Oh, it's got some power. We just wouldn't have seen these these fish fishing float. No chance. Babble, come on, get in there, yes, yes, bang, pula, <laughs> full of energy, absolute full of energy, that little bad boy, <laughs> what's he doing, just burped, <laughs> beautiful fish, Let's sip it straight back, shall we? What a fish, straight away, I can't believe it. Perla. We gave him time to revive and sent him back on his way. Right, wants to go. Let's get her back. Boom, there we have it. Absolutely amazing fish man, straight away. After a great day on the Derwent, we decided the adventures weren't over. In fact, they had only just begun. I came back the next day with my little brother in tow and he brought plenty of beginner's luck. Real, 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 real. Lift up, lift up. Wow. It's a pike. No. <laughs> I can't believe it. I thought it was a chub. It's a pike. A little pike. Just as I was about to reel it in. Oh, my boy. Yeah. Might just let him get a bit of life back in him. Or you let him go. Starts trying to swim off, then you can just unscoop him. Good first fish. With a couple of perch turning up straight after, the day was just getting started. Can't believe it. Be a chub. Is it a roach? Don't tell me that's a roach. A big old dace. Get the net. Big old dace. Full of fish, man. <laughs> Took a big old lump of meat. I can't believe we're catching like these little fish. Beautiful dace, that. You know. Look at that. 
We'll just throw that one back. It's a nice fish that though. It's the first time you'll have seen one of those as well. Just all this. Mm -hmm. Full of fish. Me and Dominic were amazed at how good of a condition we had caught this river in and decided to fish on. And of course, the fish kept coming. River? It's a good fish, yes. Yeah, please. Oh, aye. What? What? Double take! It's gone shredding all this weed. You bring that net over here. It's there. I think you can get down. What is it? Bible, what we came for. Yes! Look at that! Can't believe as you were stood there, mate. That's like it's like back in Evesham, isn't it? Don't believe it. Two are off like <laughs> to be fair, it come in fast. Perla man, I don't believe it. Double tech and all. A double take, <laughs> what? Did that go off as you put your hand on it? I looked at his picked up and it went. Hey. Never. That's an alright on that man. Perla. Oh man, that was mental. <laughs> Two are off down there. I can't believe I got that out in all that weed there. That is mental. It's not like that stream of stuff, in it? Yeah, it is. It just breaks in half. Yeah. That's what you want. If it was, do you know that stuff you get in Evesham that's right thick? Yeah. Wouldn't have seen it. Give it a sec. Can't believe it, man. Perla. Oh, she's four pound, five pound, maybe. Yeah, probably. That might be a slight bit bigger, that bit longer, I think. Yeah. Four and a half what pounds. You see, like, what the context is. Oh, aye. God, what I know, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> That's two 15 mil boilers. Fish safely returned, we got straight back to it. We was quickly into another fish, and it was a little bit smaller, so it was a perfect opportunity for my little brother to play his first barbel. Definitely another barbel. Straight away off the other one, can't believe it. <laughs> Slowly bring it in. Yeah. Oh, it just got out. That's a small one, they put up a good fight, don't they? Real. Yep, we got it. Yes! That's actually what I caught too. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, that hurts. <laughs> Drama. No, it's my back there. <laughs> like, oh, like I told you. And you thought you could reel a 10 pounder in. <laughs> right, we've got to rest it now. Wow. Because to put up a good fight and then tire themselves out, so if you take it out water too early, they can die and stuff and that's not what we want so you just give it a couple of minutes to rest and then yeah you gotta just let it rest get its energy back first time ever playing a barbell yep how does it feel awful awful why my arm hurts <laughs> also feels good that i caught my first barbell though Oh, 
back. Let's see how it's got some a bit of energy now once it starts kicking. Yeah. How do you feel, feel about catching your first barbel? Good. <laughs> wow. See if we can catch another one. They actually do put a really good fight. Yeah. With the evening setting in, we had just enough time for another fish. Big ol' swirl. Can't believe it. Three in one day. Isn't it? Not one shot them. Oh, you know it's a big one. Won't come up. My arm is paggering. Shout down because then. It's a big old fish, big old fish. Oh my days, mate. That could be approaching double figures. Oh my God. Let's ring Dominic and get some skills, shall we? Wow. <laughs> I can't, it looks it looks bigger now it's in the net. Let's ring Dominic. down will ya? <laughs> yeah. It's approaching. Pardon? Marble. Approaching ten pound. Yeah I've got my swing. Sound. Alright bye. <laughs> oh, it could be ten pounds, you know. That could be over. Oh my days! That wow. that could be over. It could be my first ever double figure Yorkshire barbel. What? It's close, if it isn't. Honest to God, he's definitely a big one. It took off past where he is there. A good one. Can't believe it. <laughs> so spice sausage, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Is that rod? What did we put on it? 
sausage. Now what do we put on the spicy sausage? Cheese! <laughs> Some of his dairy leafing! <laughs> <laughs> it just went wah and just did not stop. He's down there. Hey you. I've no I'm like I'm just by my sin. Yeah, Nets off over there. It's like a best go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard the shout like won't you? approaching 10 that if it ain't 10 i'm gonna be wounded oh aye oh aye it is a lump uh slings in there look can you see it just inside it bag that is over 10 pound that i'm not even joking You telling me that ain't over ten pound? Wow! First ever double figure Yorkshire barbel. What oh, she's saying? <laughs> oh no way! How ain't that a double figure barbel? Eight pound twelve. What? That one, that, that nine pounder I caught look bigger. What? How in that double figure, your scale's right. That is not eight pound odd, give over. Look at it, man. Wow. New PB Derwent Barbel. <laughs> wow, what a fish. What a fish though, three man. They just kept getting bigger. I easy thought that was a double me. I just wanted a, a Derwent double. <laughs> Cracking fish, take a picture like that. That looks like a good picture that. That wants to be off, look at that straight away. Twice as hard. Water fish. <laughs> right, get your Philadelphia out. <laughs> After an amazing couple of days on the Derwent, it was time to pack up and head home. Good old fish. Get in there, yeah. Real, 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 real. Yep, we got it. Big old fish, big old fish, oh my days, man. <laughs>